Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Play artist, right on dynamite. <laughs> Playing artist, right on dynamite. It's a- MP3 music search, only on Ford, Lincoln, and Mercury vehicles. Sync, say the word. So I'm a big fan of OWC's products, and they've got a couple different releases here at the show that I think are really cool. One of those is a new SSD drive, and Grant's here to tell us a little bit about that drive. Yeah, absolutely, Kenji. It's the fastest SSD on the market. It's called the OWC Mercury Extreme Enterprise SSD. Five-year lifespan of the drive, 260 megs sustained read and write over the life of the drive highest reliability, highest durability on the market, and to really just, you know, all that sounds great, so let's what it, let's show what it really looks like compared to a standard hard drive and on a machine that's faster. So I'm gonna give you some of the specs of our little test here. The machine on the left here is a 3.06 gigahertz processor. The machine on the right is a 2.6 gig processor. Four gigs of RAM for each machine. This has a standard notebook drive straight from the factory. This over here has our OWC SSD drive. It's going to boot down, boot up, and then load five apps within Creative Suite 4. Watch how fast it works. And I'll even give this one a little of an unfair advantage. And this is brand new. You guys just came out with this technology, correct? Brand new. In the last two weeks, we were going to hold it for Macworld, but man, when you got a shiny new toy and it's the greatest on the market, it's kind of hard to hold the news. So. And pretty much you're, you're doing pretty much a similar comparison here other than the processor speed itself and the drives in the system. Exactly. There's nothing, we, that's one thing that people have come to trust OWC and we don't take that trust for granted. So again, this machine with the standard hard drive is actually a faster machine. We've actually kind of skewed the results for this. As you can see, the apps are already loading, it's already rebooted, and we're still waiting for the desktop to load on the hard drive machine. In, in general tests, it's taking about 32 seconds for this to occur on uh, to boot and load all the apps, and about a minute and 40 seconds to do the same on a hard drive-based machine. So, you know, what we've been telling people is this drive comes available in capacity of 50, 100, and 200 gig, and it's kind of like a processor upgrade of the days of old, right? You know, kind of put a card in and make your Mac faster. You can get that 50 gig or that 100 gig and make your, your MacBook or MacBook Pro fastest, faster than any uh, Mac on the market right now. So you got a two, three year old machine, you can have fa- the fastest machine on the market with OWC. Very cool, very cool. This, I mean, you could easily see the speed difference here. Now, if I want to expand my laptop more, you guys also have a USB display adapter, right? So if I've got a laptop and I need to hook up a couple extra displays, like right. say three or four, you can do that, right? Exactly, and like like everything we try and make, it's we try and go with plug and play, you know, make life simple and just add performance really easy. So with our newer tech line, we have the USB to DVI, HDMI, and VGA display adapter. And what you really do is you just plug it in via USB and then the other end with any adapter to any kind of monitor you'd like to and add additional display. So like how I use it is I put up all my social media because that's constantly barraging you, right? So you don't really want that in front of you, but you want to keep it in view. So you add the second monitor for that and then on your main display, you're writing your emails, you're working on a news release, you're, you're writing on a blog, you're, you're heavy duty work right there. Now I'm a big graphics guy, so I'm doing like, like a lot of 3D, a lot of Photoshop, things like that. And I always look at my graphics card. So what is this giving me? Can I do 3D? Can I do my nice Photoshop? Am I getting the bit depth and resolution that I really need? Absolutely perfect for Photoshop. Also for uh, various playbacks of uh, uh, entertainment. And I used a test for my own personal need. I'm a big Bruce Lee fan. So if you know Enter the Dragon and the fight scene with the guards, I was looking for any delay, any slowdown. And when he's working the guards over, there was any hesitation, any stutter, so that passed the grant test for, hey, this works. And what's the maximum resolution draw, uh, displays that you can drive, or size you can drive with this? To? 2048 by 1152, so as high a resolution as possible. Very nice. And does it require special driver software, or is it literally I just plug in and go with it? It, it does require an initial driver install, and then after that, it's purely plug and play. Very nice. Well, I think these are great different technologies for helping you expand your laptop and get more performance and more productivity out of your tools. And I'd like to thank you, Grant. I love the OWC products, and I think these are two great products overall. Well, we're thrilled that NoTech came to the uh, site and and the uh, show and uh, OWC's booth to talk about these products. Thanks. And this has been Ken Cotto for MacBreak. Thanks. <laughs>